think that was the first good example of how accurate this is. It's just flown about 2,000 meters and it got within 30 blocks. So, I'm telling you now, if we fire a nuclear bomb even like this far away, I mean, that's going to encase their entire base. So they better be worried an antimatter. Oh my god, they might as well. They might as well um, say goodbye to their base if an antimatter is coming that close. So that's pretty good. Anyway, it's time to get back to the base and start playing with Joe. Okay then, so after those nuclear tests or those missile tests, Joe is here with us. Hello. How are you doing? So. I, uh... uh that was okay, wasn't it? So what happened? Well, basically the missile was about 25 blocks off, but it was a very small missile. It didn't actually do any uh, structural damage, though. But if we use our antimatter, it will definitely take them out. Okay. So we've got to wait on this antimatter. We're at 43 antimatter now. We've only got to wait for, like, 21 more. So we're two-thirds oh of the God. way there. It's going to take quite a while, though. Yeah, but we just got to wait, basically. Okay, so in the mean... In so the meantime... What? In the meantime, uh, I think we need to start sending out some of these traps, Joe. Yeah. And the first trap I was thinking of was we're going to need to basically um, get a couple of crystals, miscraft crystals. So what we need to do is we need to go and find a place to get some miscraft crystals. So basically, what you need to do, Joe, yeah, is fly around the mining world. Yeah. For absolutely ages. Okay. Well, we both have to fly around the mining world for absolutely yeah. ages. Yeah. And in the mining world, we'll eventually find a book, and hopefully, uh, that that descriptive book will have a. A book? What do you mean? I'll just find well, a book. You'll find a book or pages with the crystal symbol on it, and if we find that crystals, then we can generate a world with crystals, and then we can get crystals. Yay! So let's go and have a look. Let's take... Have you found anything yet, Joe? No. You found nothing. Nothing. Oh, actually, it doesn't actually matter anyway, because I've just remembered something very crucial. If you, come back, if you actually come back to the overworld, Joe. You remember just now? Yeah, it's I just... bloody taking me ages. Joe's fine, look, right. Come back to... S okay, I've made a miss library over here. Uh, can you see me over here? In the, ah. Um, back where our items are. Turn left, and you can see there's a miss library now. Where? To your left. Yeah. So, oh yeah, I was in the area. So come yeah. to spawn. Spawn, okay. Okay, so at the spawn point. Now of course over here, Joe, we have our trap and we can take the crystals out of this thing. So And I've got a really clever trap that I'm gonna use. Oh. There's stuff hitting us. Okay. Right, so let's get okay, right, so we've got some crystals now. Joe, quickly come back to the um come back to our base. Okay. I think I've got everything I need. Oh, okay, so we just search for nothing. What do you mean? Yay. Enemy base 4. What are these enemy bases, Tommy? Can I visit them? Uh, well, those are all the positions of Weber's uh, base, but don't click on enemy base 5, because that one's the one we need. Okay, so I'll got, go on enemy base I've got, four. A, I've got a plan. So basically, Joe, what I'm going to do is we're going to make it so we can throw things through a portal, or we can throw, yeah. like, we can throw grenades through into their base and yeah. stuff like that. It's going to be awesome. So basically, we just have to take a book receptacle. Oh, this is where we got blown up. And then we just, just take, like, I don't know, thing here, and we just make a little hole. Just a random chest. Here. Make a little hole here. Okay. Then what we do is we basically. So I'll just get this iron since it's here. So what we do is get a bit of stone. And basically, Joe, what we're going to do is we can throw like grenades through to their base. And they'll have no Wait idea. Wait a minute, Tommy. I just found something. Yeah, that's their old base. Camouflage. Yeah, you can make camouflage. Shoot. Do you want to make? Some, do you want to make some camouflage, Joe? Well, I've already got some. Have you? Yeah, I've picked it up. I just found some. All oh, right. Four well, of it. Because that could come in use. Hardly. Well, you can be our camouflage man if you want to. Apart from the fact that we've moved our base and there's no way they're going to be able to find us, so... Well, we can make camouflage on the moon or something. Unless there's that guy, isn't there? Um... Cock. Okay, right, so... That's the book receptacle. Then when we just, all we need to do... Let's place... That in there. And now, there's a pathway... 
down into their base. And all we have to do is throw stuff through and it will pop Maybe right it's... through to that base. So look at What's that number five? Is that their base at the moment? or but Number five, right. So let's get a grenade, right? So let's get a standard grenade. Yeah. So like a... If you, um... If I if you just make uh well, let's make a shrapnel grenade. Uh shrap shrapnel grenade. So how do I make this? Need to make some condensed explosives first of all. Which means we're gonna need some TNT. Let's just make a bunch of condensed explosives. There we are, okay, right. Got some iron chests. Repulsive. Um what else have they got? Is that it? Sorry? Just checking out their base. Well, those are all the royal bases. Okay, so I've got a shrapnel missile, Joe. Yeah. And all you need to do... Oh, there's some up here. Sorry. It is. When I tell you to... Yeah. Okay, be very careful. So all you need to do... Is just stand like this. Yeah. Over here. You? Look at my screen. Yeah. So stand like this. I'm in this room here. Okay. Big room. So you just stand like this here, and just right click to throw the grenade in. So you just right click with this grenade in your hand. Okay. Okay. So I am going to give you that. Yeah. And when I tell you to throw it through. Okay. And that's leading to their base. Okay. Okay. So uh, throw it through. Yeah. Luckily, Max and Weber are in the mining age right now, Joe. Okay. Have you thrown it through? Yes. You sure? Ah. You sure? Yeah, why? I don't think it's come through yet. Did you, are you sure you threw it yeah, through? Yeah, I threw it. That, I haven't got it anymore. Did you press Q or did you right click? I right clicked. Where'd it go then? I don't see where it went. I don't think it came through, Joe. I right clicked on it. You sure? Yeah, I'm totally sure. Okay. Click the portal. Okay, right, let's try again. Let's try that again. Let's try again. Let's see if I can do it. Maybe there is a bug with it, though. Should I, might... I go through the portal? Yeah. Okay, right. You will get destroyed, though, because they've got turrets. Yeah, I told you. You shouldn't go through there. Right. Let's I try see... that. Oh, there it is. I can see that. Look, there we go. I threw it through that time. I threw it through. Oh, look, there you go. You saw that explosion. So now all we can, all we can do is just chuck things down into that portal. The problem oh. is, nothing blows up. Yeah, but if we throw something through there, like a chemical missile, that'd be amazing. Think about that. If we throw a chemical missile through into their base, they'll get poisoned every single time we want to throw a chemical missile down there. Yeah. So maybe we want to put, um... Maybe we want to put, like, some sort of uh, piston or something. No, it's fine. Just remember not to fall through there, because you will get killed. They got some very powerful stuff. You're about to get killed, aren't you, Joe? If you hide, then it's fine. But um, I've also got active camouflage. It doesn't seem to actually work very well because they can still see you. But whatever. Um, we can make po we've got potions of invisibility that we can uh -huh, use. I can get into their chests. Oh uh, yeah, but all this stuff is in the ME system. No, so... they've got some armor. Are they don't don't take the armor. We've got too much. We've look think about the armor we've already I got. <laughs> they've got loads Possibly of old. They've got lots of old tools. We've got so much more stuff than them, so it's fine. But at least we have now got a way to just chuck missiles and grenades down into that um, into their base, which is pretty funny. Um, now, I'm thinking... So, so let me just try and remember. So, antimatter. An antimatter bomb costs... Oh, yeah. It does cost quite a lot to make an antimatter missile. Um, we could make an anti-gravitational missile. Would you like to do an anti-gravitational missile? Why not? Sounds... Destructive. Uh, we're going to need some blaze rods, though. Uh, so let's. Um, I think for now we can probably round off with a nice, powerful missile most of the time. So we need a repulsive explosive. Okay, anti gravitational. It's going to require a lot of eyes of ender. We need a turret, Tommy. In case they come in. That's obviously not going to happen. Have they made a link or something to. A link to our base. No, because they, they have, have they have no idea where our base is, Joe. Right. Okay, I've got anti gravitational missile here, Joe. Right. Right. So let's get a lever. Right. right. Let's go and see what we can do then. So let's. Uh, what base should we go to? Let's go to there. They've moved their base as well. 
Yeah, I know they've moved their base quite a lot. Okay, where should we go to? Where should we blow up the anti gravitational? I can see. Look, I can Joe. I can see you over there. Look, this is where their base is. We could blow up the anti gravitational really close to their base. I guess. Let's blow it up here. Do you want to come outside and see it? I don't. M. This is the, uh, this is the thing. Escape, Joe. It says at the top right. Okay, Joe, come outside. Yeah, make a waypoint to this, because that'll be quite helpful. Well, we've already got a book, so it's fine. Just waypoint, Joe. Uh, I mean, uh, come outside. To I just make things. waypoints. Uh, just come outside quickly, first of all. I can't... Come outside. Well, just um, like use your linking book, and then... Can you not just come back? Come, go to, go through, use your linking book, get to spawn, and then... Or do you want to just watch it on my computer? I might as well do. Go, to, sp go to the spawn book. Yeah. Um, and then you can fly to coords. Uh... So I just make a waypoint. That would be so much easier. Yeah, I know, but like, you, I really want you to just come over here and just see this. Okay, right. Let's just wait for Joe to come over. Okay, Joe. You close that. Oh, there you are. Okay, right. So here we go. You ready? I am ready. Can I? Okay, go. Okay, stand back. Okay, let's watch this. Oh my god! Look at this! Whoa! <laughs> Look at all the blocks fly up. This is awesome. So I think you're just hitting them everywhere. You're hitting all these blocks like as you fight fall through them. I'm watching you like just like just push all these blocks away. <laughs> oh my god! Is it gonna fall like? Is, is it gonna like form a? You can even see the lever like it's sort of like glitched out. It's flying up as well. Just like plopping, pushing all these blocks away. Are they going to form like an island in the sky? Who knows? But look, imagine uh, throwing this at Weber and Max's base. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Look, it's just like pushing everything up into the air. We can actually uh, fly up using our jetpack. Have well, they got jetpacks yet? Uh, I don't think they have actually. But look at that. Anti gravitational is going to be really cool because it's basically just like. Just so awesome. Look how cool that is. Yeah, look, I think it's formed a, it's formed islands in the sky, look, Joe. Okay. Has, has actually formed islands up in here. And I can look from below. They've named this place Biscuit Place. Have they? Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, watch out. you got to watch out for their missiles. It's not too bad, because you can probably take them out with using your railgun. I'm doing my god, like, swipes. Oh, it's me. <laughs> Feels like Weber or something. Okay. Ah. Okay, I took down their stuff. So let's have a look at what they got. They basically got some random ores. What are they doing here with all this random wood stuff? Looks like they're enriching quite a lot of stuff. They got a moon base, look, Joe. Really? That's sweet, is it? Let's visit their moon base. Yo. You haven't got any oxygen, Joe. Have you? Yeah. You, I've got some uh, oxygen tanks, just take these. You haven't even got your oxygen gear on, do you? No, I didn't bring it with me, do I? Oh, why did you not bring it with you? You never told me to. Oh, you should probably just wear it all the time, to be honest. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's a spider. So, where's their moon base compared to ours? It seems they've done some sort of explosives test, because there seems to be some sort of massive, like, non. It's like some secret place that we don't know about, in case... There's loads of, like, it must have let off some hypersonics or something. So at least we know that they've got a moon base. We know that they've got a mining... Well, of course they have a mining age. Um, they've also got... So they've got a moon base mining age and some turrets, which we did test just take down, but... I mean, they've probably got the resources looking at the amount of ore they had to build some new ones. Um, yeah. I've... As I showed in the episode earlier, I've got these... Um, you haven't seen these yet, Come Joe. On, there must be a little bit more to this have you, have you seen these laser turrets? Put in a moon base. Wow. Come on, there must be a little bit more in here. I mean, what the hell there probably is. is. They've probably hidden something somewhere. Well, but, I'm going to um... try and check every single place. Okay. Here. So, what type of grenades have we got there, Joe? Because if there's a lot of different types of grenades, I mean, think about the stuff we can throw down there. We've got chemical. Uh, debilitation is like a chemical, but it's a bit, it's not quite as bad. It just lasts for longer. Repulsive, attractive, and a conventional. Incendiary. We've got an incendiary explode. Oh, should we make an incendiary bomb? Okay, let's make one of these. 
I've also got another trap because I've got. If you think about it, Tommy, yeah. If I have this camouflage, have you got any lava with you? Sorry. Because I've got a good idea. Have you got any lava? Um, we got tons of lava during our mining age. Yes. Now, because I've got this camouflage, like maybe like to a place where near. Joe, watch out! Watch out! What? No. Whoa! <laughs> the hell? <laughs> anyway, yeah. As I was saying, yeah. Like we could like make a camouflage floor, and they might, and if they they could fall fall through it. Oh my god, that's such a good cool idea. We'll have like a hallway, and then we could. In fact, we could we could do that in their base. Just put yeah, just put it just put, like on the grass where they work, like out here. Th there must be like. Nits. No, we could do it with the floor, Joe. The whole floor here could be camouflaged, and it could actually be lava underneath. Well, we, I've only got four, but we. Need, where do they go often? Yeah, but let's. How do you make camouflage? No, no put it next to one of these machines here. They'll go next here. The camouflage is not too bad to make. We could go back and make some more, Joe. I've got. Okay, let me just. Okay, I'll get rid let of me this. go. Let me go make some more. Okay, let's think of something where they could just fall through. Okay, we need to make a pit of lava somewhere. So some of them haven't done wiring. Okay, well, let's get some lava then. Oh, and they've got loads of emmy stuff. Which is really annoying. It's fine, I'll get loads of buckets of lava then. Oh go. my god, there is. So much. That, the whole floor has wiring underneath. Are you sure? Whatever you place, that's... Yeah, but this is universal cable, so it doesn't matter. So you could destroy it, you could put lava with it. You can put lava on top of it, yeah. So Joe, get out of there. Yeah. Okay, so let's... Um... Then I'll put the camouflage on it. Yeah, wait there. I've got the stone brick, so I can, like, replace it. So let's... Let's put it... Actually, no. Not, not, um... Not everywhere, if you know what I'm saying. Not here. Not everywhere. Not where the cables are. Maybe just this little bit here. This little middle bit. Yeah. Okay, that's a really good idea, actually. Okay, get the lava. Because you're on it, maybe. Okay, now place the camouflage. Okay. Place all the camouflage. One more piece here. Okay. Yay! So now what we need to do is, I think, shift right click to make it walkable. So get out the way too quickly. Look at that, that they fall through. It's really hard to get out. It's like impossible to get out. That's hilarious. Look We've done that. that for every single block. Cut. <laughs> That's awesome, Joe. That's one of the best traps. So they'll be, you know, walking. They'll be like, ah! And we'll see you next time. So, Operation Five Trolls is definitely underway. We have got two of them out of the five. The third one is going to... Oh, we've actually got three of them done already, actually. We've got the exothermic missile, we've got the lava pool, and we've got the grenade uh, the grenade yeah. launcher. And the final one is going... Uh, the thir Sorry, the fourth one is going to be our quantum craft blocks. Um, so our quantum craft blocks is going to be pretty nice. And the third and the fifth one I've got, which is going to be the final one, is the idea where we will send them to an age, and they're going to have to, and like a maze or something. Yeah. And we'll have to like, we'll make them have to like escape from the maze or something. And I've got a very elaborate way to make them fall for that trap. Yeah. So we'll see you next time in Amps, where we continue our trolling. Goodbye.